Hey tennis fans, I'm Lana Maciel and welcome back to our Monday edition of Tennis Now News. Well, unfortunately, the king of clay can't make the claim as the king of poker. In a Texas Hold'em charity showdown with Vanessa Selbst on Friday in Monte Carlo, Rafael Nadal lost the competition. But it's nothing to be ashamed about as Selbst just happens to be the highest earning female poker player of all time. And who knows, considering Selbst's tweet afterward, a rematch could be in the works. Players kicked off this week's Monte Carlo Rolex Masters event with a fancy launch party that had some ATP players dressed in their GQ best. Here are a few snapshots from the red carpet. Speaking of best dressed, Rolex released a few images that took fans behind the scenes of a photo shoot with Roger Federer and the Lucerne, Switzerland backdrop was quite impressive. And as always, Federer cleans up pretty nicely too. And perhaps on the not so best dress list, Red Foo and Victoria Azarenka were spotted at a club in Sydney wearing matching glasses and patterned outfits. While waiting to return to the tour from injury, Azarenka joined her boyfriend of two years in Australia as he starts filming for the X Factor TV show. At the Clay Court Championships in Houston, Fernando Verdasco ended a long title drought of nearly four years with a 6-3, 7-6 win over Nicolas Almagro. And as is a tradition at the tournament, the Spaniard celebrated his victory with a jump into the River Oaks Country Club pool. Here's some video from his big moment. <laughs> Fernando, congratulations. Thank You've you. You've won the title. You know what you gotta do now, right? Yes. Time to jump in the pool. Let's go. Oh, you still cold? Oh, it's heated. <laughs> He's heated. <laughs> oh, man. Ya lo tienes o no? Es que eres muy lento, tío. This guy always make me wait. <laughs> And the WTA has a new American player, as Anna Tatishvili of Georgia, that's the country, not the state, is now officially an American citizen, as she tweeted the news last week. Currently ranked 102, the 24-year-old has trained in Florida since age 13, and her best major result was the fourth round at the US Open in 2012. Congratulations, Anna. That's all for today's news. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter for all the latest updates. We'll see you later this week on Tennis Now News.